It is Friday, September 13th, 2024, a portentous day, perhaps. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday crossword, which means we're going to be solving the first of two themeless puzzles for the week. So it won't be themed around Friday the 13th, um, but maybe it'll be a tricky, tricky puzzle. We'll just have to find out. And this potentially portentous, tricky edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Adam and Annette Noble, Noah Bizanson, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster, the incorrigible Sheeler Beeler, and the indefinable Charlie Paget. Thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign for their generous support. They do, of course, sustain this channel, bring us this series day in, day out, and for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you so much to those five and to everybody who supports the channel at any level. Um, I really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. And if you'd like to join the ranks of those folks, you can head to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the description field link where you'll find the bonus videos available to patrons, which uh, includes, as of this week, last week's mini puzzle pseudo speed solve, the monthly bonus puzzle for September, and will soon include this week's mini puzzle pseudo speed solve. So look forward to all of that or enjoy it if it's already there. And um, of course, as a benefactor, you also get the official mug. Um, thanks to everybody who backs the uh, channel. If you'd like to, you can head to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the description field link. I think I already said that. Sorry about that. All right, let's get on to the puzzle. <laughs> this is a debut construction by uh, Boaz Moser. Uh, so welcome uh, to them. And it was edited once again by Joel Faliano. So it's themeless crossword. Um, Perhaps, perhaps an unlucky day on Friday the 13th, but I hope not. Let's start solving and find out. What jackknives can help to carve? Um, I don't know. don't know what we're looking for there. Summit. Peak, maybe? The, the top, the peak, the summit? Uh, it could be the acme as well, actually. Fail without... To fail to what out to? I'm not seeing that either. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can confirm whether summit is peak or acme. That's why I'm looking at these. Cob, e.g. Don't know. Does it mean a cob of corn? Perhaps I'm not sure. Uh, together. Maybe it is acme because together could be on mass. Maybe you know, big group of people doing something together en masse. So does that help with what jackknives can help to carve? I have no idea what's going on with that. Dumpster or zipper originally? Oh, brand names. Yeah. Um, I think dumpster might still be actually. Maybe not. Maybe it isn't anymore. But yeah, these were brand names that became genericized through common use. Okay, so what do jackknives help to carve? Oh, abs. Oh, okay, so jackknife is an exercise, I guess, since you uh, so use it to sort of carve or define your abdominal muscles. All right. So boon for grizzly bears, salmon something? Um, not sure, but salmon something. Uh, fail without... To, oh, to crap out. If something craps out, it fails. That, that'll be it. So a bit of foam, perhaps. I'm not sure. What about this cob? Oh, okay. A male, like a male swan, for instance, is a cob. Okay, so that, that's it. And then bit of foam, perhaps, is... I'm not sure still. Actually, forget I ask. Don't... Uh, whatever, maybe some, so don't something, maybe. Not take off. To stay, could be. Bit of foam, oh, peanut, as in a foam peanut packing, you know, a bit of packing material in a parcel or something. Like meetings of the UN General Assembly, annual, annual meeting. One doing the Lord's work. Um, oh, a vassal, maybe. So a Lord, a lord in, the, in the sense of... Um, you know, a lord in a feudal system. Um, so you're a vassal of a lord. You're sort of pledged to uh, a lord as opposed to lord in, in a religious sense. All right, that's fair. Mm, not sure. Siege, sorry, site sieged by Santa Anna, the Alamo. There we go, that fort. Remember it, as they say. 
sci-fi franchise since 1979. So the film Alien came out in 1979. So that would be, that would make sense. Uh, Laissez-faire is lax, you know, not very strict, um, sort of open-ended. That's fair. Oh, valid. You, ah, valid, you might say. That's fair. Yeah. Global Lending Organization, the uh, IMF, the International Mon Monetary Fund, or in the, <laughs> in the uh, television and film series, the Impossible Missions Force or something like that in Mission Impossible. Enthusiastic Ascent. Do I? Yeah, do I? You could say, someone could ask you, are you, you know, do you participate in this? And you could say, oh, do I? That would be an enthusiastic ascent. What's often made by doctors? Oh, six figures, I suppose, you know, as a sort of well-paid professional role, they're earning six figures frequently. Encircles, girds, you know, if something girds at something, it encircles it. Numbers 1 through 36 are found in it. Um, numbers 1 through 36 are found in it. What is that about? I'm not sure. It'll probably be obvious when I see it, but I'm, I'm not sure. Where, oh, is it, is it the Torah? Is it numbers in, in the scriptural sense? Not sure. Where some banners are hung. Not sure about that either. Under siege. If you're under siege, you're beset. You're being attacked. So account of a wild night out. Account. Oh, a tab. Yes, your the your wild night out might have um, accrued a large tab at a bar, and that would take account of it. Okay. Or some banners are hung. An arena, maybe. That could be the case. A sports arena, maybe. That kind of thing. Cross. If you're cross, you're angry, you're sort of irritated, you're sore, maybe. So that would be, that would make that look plausible for the Torah. I think that might be right. Vac yes, something vacuous could be inane, sort of stupid and silly. Beverage steeped in bright daylight. Sun tea. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Does it... I've, I've certainly heard of this. You sort of steep tea bags in, I guess, just sort of, I don't know, cold or lukewarm water and put it in the sun. Does the sun do anything? I don't really know. But anyway, there we go. That's, I think, the answer. Actually, forget I asked. Don't answer that, you might say. There we go. Improve as an argument. Strengthen it. Doesn't fit. Um, not sure. Concern for an antiquer. I'm not sure. Age or worth, maybe? How much something is valued? That could be it. If you're looking for antique objects. They increase with blown saves, for short. Is this sports thing? I'm not sure what this is about. Blown saves. I don't... I think that must be some kind of sports statistic or something. I don't know. Group of zombies. A horde of zombies. So to improve is an argument, to sharpen your argument, that'll be it. Gets high on a kite. Something soars? I don't know. Bad thing to be out of. If you're out of sorts, you're not feeling yourself. Um, so that, that seems plausible. Blank Novo, Kapanen, uh, <laughs> Kapanen, capital of Benin. Uh, is it Porto Novo? Gets high on a kite. Oh, parasails. Yeah. Okay. That that that's it. So you're using a, a, you know, essentially a kite to skate along the water. Essentially, you're parasailing. All right. So what's this? Extraterrestrial men menace in Five Down. Alien. Right. Okay. So this the creature in Alien was I think retroactively referred to as the xenomorph. That doesn't actually. It's not actually a term used in the film Alien, uh, but there we go. Okay, so what about this? Most areas, no, most arias, sorry. Most arias are soli, probably, the plural of solo. So um, an aria is a song for a featured singer in an opera. And so, you know, they could, they could be solos or, or soli. And because it says most, we're referring to multiple 
arias, which is why I'm suspecting it's maybe the uh, the I there. Okay, Murphy's co-star in 48 Hours. That'll be Eddie Murphy. I don't actually think I've seen this film. Oh, but I think I've seen the poster. Is it Nick Nolte? I think it might be. Tripping. If you're on acid, maybe you're tripping. You're having a, an acid trip. Minnesota's is French and California's is Greek. Uh... Oh, motto, the, the state motto. Sorry, I keep, my eye is sort of twitching today, so I keep sort of messing with it. Apologies if that's distracting. Um, the, the state mottos must be those. I. Oh, California's is Eureka. That I do know. Um, I don't know Minnesota's uh, motto, but um, but it's in French apparently. So there we go. Response to not getting the reference. I'm not sure, but let's finish off this little bit since it's mostly done. Summit. Oh, look at that. We had summit up here, Acme. Here we have summit. It's the apex, the highest point. Another another word that can mean that. All right. So blowout is oh a party, that kind of blowout. All right. And then a salmon run is a boon for grizzly bears. Okay, fair enough. Here we have school in Ypsilanti, whose mascot is an eagle, not another large bird. Uh, oh, I see. So EMU. So it's... Is it Eastern Michigan University, maybe? Is Ypsilanti in Michigan? Boy, I'm not actually sure. I think that I think this is probably right though. And anyway, it's not an emu. It's not it's not a large flightless bird in this case. All right. So zip to run, maybe, to go quickly. Or zip could also mean nil as in none, not any. Be right with you. I'm on my way. That could be the answer. It fits. Zip. I'm not sure what that would be then. Cotton Eyed Joe, e.g. A song? I don't know. Blank Dog. I'm not sure about that. Slum Dog? I think that's one word. Comic Gillis. I don't know. Went After. Hounded or... It could be end with an E-D. Blank Dog. Oh, Sled Dog, maybe? Zip. Oh, it could be nil if this weren't M. Zip. I'm going to delete this, actually. We'll come back to it. Old blank, country standard performed by Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. I'm not sure. Attempted with at. You, what, took a swing at something? What would be shorter than that? You attempted it. You tilted at it? Don't really like that. Went after, hunted, maybe. Food that's roughly 90% water, celery. That's certainly always how it feels. Watermelon would be another one. Went after, chased. Oh, yeah, that's that's straightforward if it's correct. Old blank, old shoe, maybe? Attempted with at. I don't know. Let's look elsewhere. Sources of high quality wool, alpacas, there we go. I like that L there, that makes me feel better about celery. And then here we have a good way to feel, to feel sane, I don't really, don't really think that's right. Um, no more, none ever attempted with at. Had a go at, there we go, that, that feels right to me. At some point, something happened at some point, it happened once. No more. Hmm, not sure. A good way to feel, to, oh, to feel seen, you could say. You feel sort of understood. That, that, that's plausible. Ottoman setting. So probably not the Ottoman Empire, but an Ottoman as in the, the piece of furniture on which you rest your feet, which might be in a den. Okay, be right with you. Ah, in a second. Okay, so my, yeah, my first guess was completely wrong. Cotton Eye Joe, e. oh, a dance. Is, oh, is it a line dance? Okay, that sounds plausible to me. So Zip is nothing, it's nil. And then Comic Gillis Shane, maybe? Old Black, oh, Old Shep, maybe? Country Standard performed by Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley, maybe, as in a name. Could be, let's, what, was there any other, were there any other crosses we've not yet seen? No more is gone, all right, okay. You could say, yes, that, 
that's no more. It's gone. And I think we've seen all the rest of it. This looks like needed, attention needed. Response to not getting the reference. Oh. Explanation needed? It's too long, obviously. Response to not getting the reference. Citation needed. Right, okay. So that's playing on the common phrase you'll find on Wikipedia when something... Um, when a claim is made in a Wikipedia article without a source, you, an editor might add a little thing saying citation needed, a little sort of footnote or sub superscript or something. Anyway, okay, so there we go. Nosy, question mark. Nasal, I guess, just <laughs> nosy with the question mark pun indicator uh, suggesting we read nosy as an adjective relating to the nose. So that's very nosy. It's nasal. There we go. How Vin Diesel was cast in The Fast and the Furious, you might say. You might say. Interesting. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm not sure what we're looking for there. I suspect it's punny, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't quite get it. At this point, so far, this has happened so far. It's happened at this point. Uh, or and or could be oft as an often. So or and or means obviously over and over, but contracted poetically. And so oft is also a sort of poetic uh, way you might say often. Word with rock or capitalized rocks. That's interesting. So a capitalized one could be a brand name or a person's name or something. Word with rock or rocks. Pop rocks? Pop rocks is... Am I thinking of the right thing? It's a candy, I think. And then pop rock, maybe just sort of a musical genre or something. I'm not sure this is right. Oh, I see. How Vin Diesel was cast in The Fast and Furious, you might say aptly, because his name includes a, a kind of fuel. And uh, you, know, you could say that's very appropriate in a film series about cars. All right, well, there we go. Organization whose official number of employees is unknown to the public, probably the National Security Agency. I guess that makes sense. Dynamic stance, an action pose, might be a way to stand that in, implies dynamism. Halt, to cease, to stop. Rack up, to incur fines maybe, would be to rack up fines, for instance. Eyed food, informally. Eyed food, is what is that? You looked at food or it's food that has been looked at. Here we have put into effect to enact a law, for instance, would be to put into effect Oh, no, no, it's not It's not food that's been looked at. In, I see. It's food with eyes, a tater, a potato. So a potato informally is a tater, So, as the clue suggests. So there we go. So if you went after someone in a way, you sued them. And then to make a gaffe is to err, to make a mistake. So there we go. That was the Friday crossword. Not too unlucky, I would say, despite Friday the 13th. Um, but a little, definitely tricky in points. Went in and out of trickiness. I mean, I think in the way that you often get on a Friday. Not not enormously punny. We've certainly had punnier Fridays, uh, but we had a few. Account of a wild night out being a tab is very clever. I like that. And um, what else did I did I like in that vein? Um, I mean, this isn't punny, but I, I like dumpster or zipper originally because I I always enjoy learning about things that are brand names, or that once were brand names, um, that have just become completely s sort of sublimated into the language. Uh, anyway, what else? Yeah, not, not very, oh, nosy being nasal is good. Just a very simple, straightforward pun. That's a good one. All right. Well, anyway, there we go. That was the Friday crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, debut construction. And um, I'll be back tomorrow, of course, with the second of two themeless puzzles for the week. Could be a trickier one. Join me then and find out. But um, until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.